Good afternoon, sir. Welcome to La Marche. Hey, we're looking for a dress. Specifically one for a club called Queen Rouge. Any recommendations? But of course, sir. Now then, our dresses are right this way. Nice. Hey, Amy. You really have to pick the entire outfit. What's the point? What is this? Okay, you choose. I'll go through all of them. Dark blue. This one? Okay. Which color? Blue one or red one? Any of these? Hairband? You mean this? With flower. Okay. Glasses, no glasses. Which ones? These? Brainless? Which earrings? Okay. What about the necklace? Blue slash black bead. Oh, this? Okay. Nails. Black. A ring. Okay, let's go with the flower. A watch. Golden watch. Any bracelet? This one? Flower band? Okay. And a perfume. Mignon or Bell? Fine. Guess I cannot change the anything else. So that's fine. How much do they gonna charge me? Are they gonna charge me a lot of money? I hope not. How's it going in there, sorry son? Almost done? Hold on a second. I don't usually dress like this. You know, it almost feels like we're on a date. Mafia won't be happy about that. Sorry son. You've known Mafuyu since you were a kid, right? Yes, we were close in our early teens. But then we grew distant and didn't reconnect until law school. Right, I remember now. So how are you, Amy? family was wealthy, so she knew how to socialize. Whereas I preferred to keep to myself. My classmates often bullied me. 
But whenever anything got too bad, Muffy was always there to protect me. Even then, she wanted to be a prosecutor. She didn't know it at the time, but I really respected her. Is that why you decided to go into law? Yes. At first, I wanted to be a prosecutor too. But ultimately, protecting the weak fits my personality better than punishing evil. Sorry, Yagami-san. I'm not normally this talkative. Everyone has a story to tell. Speaking of which, Mafia looked up to someone too. Hmm? When she was just a young girl, she and her mother were victims of a hit and run. Yeah, she told me about that. Her mother threw herself in front of Mafuyu, but ended up unstable and unconscious for a while afterward. Yes. They ultimately caught the culprit, but Mafuyu's mother was still comatose at the time of the trial. With how young Mafuyu was at the time, it was difficult for her to explain to the police what happened. But the prosecutor was very patient, investigating every last detail of how the accident happened. Wow. He fought for justice in place of a victim who couldn't fight for herself. In fact, that may have been Mafu's first love. Huh? The prosecutor? He's Mafu's boss now. Mori Tassan. Huh? That's pretty crazy. Never expected she'd be into older men. Do you remember when I first introduced you to Yagami-san? We were all drinking together at Tender. That was the day Mori Tassan had married another woman. So, I wanted Mafuyu to meet someone better. That's why I invited you. Huh, now that you mention it, she did seem kind of down that night. <laughs> Does it surprise you? Wow. Actually, I think I'm falling for you now, Sari-san. Wait, what? Where is this coming from? If this is a joke, Yagami-san, you have terrible comedic timing. <laughs> Come on, I'm just messing with you. What an ass. Anyway, I'm done changing. Hmm? Huh, not bad. You think? Oh, hold on, let me get a picture. She needs a better hairstyle. Uploading photos without an individual's permission is... Sorry, Hoshino-kun asked me to do it. Said he wants to figure out the best makeup for your dress. Huh. It's simple. And speak of the devil. It's me, Hoshino. Shira She's supposed to be a hostess for a night. Is as beautiful as ever. She cannot be like this. Man, this is incredible. I should have tagged along after all. <clears throat> so, which salon should we go to? Oh, uh, right. There's a place called Cherry, also on Showa Street. They do top-notch work. It's not far, either. Got it. Thanks. Yeah, it is in Japan. Alright. Air Salon Cherry. This is the place Oshinokan mentioned. Okay, let's go there. Welcome, sir. What can we do for you today? Okay, hairstyle. Third one? This? You serious? This one. Hmm? 
Miku hair. Which one this? Okay. Be normal, honestly. Okay. Which one are cat eyes? Oh here, cat eyes. They really went to such trouble just for one mission though. Dark, middle or light? Which one? Which one? Which one, Amy? This one, okay. Eyeshadow. This is more of a purple, but I guess <laughs> contacts. Everything looks pink. <laughs> yeah, which accent of pink? This one? one not this one this is too dark okay exit is that all <sighs> no whoa you look better than I expected I'd rather you didn't stare like that sorry sorry anyway let's head to the Queen Rouge Uh, uh, what? What? Where am I supposed to? Go? What's with the camera? Wait, I'm playing as her now. Hey, smile for me, beautiful. Yes, Amy. Yes, she does, but she doesn't have two ponytails. Whoa, she's a knockout. Uh, I'll knock you out. Oh no, I meant a dress. Just a dress. 
Why do you play as her? Hey girl! Yo, what club you work for, huh? You got a gig tonight, babe? We'll pay you double. Hey, where's she work? That's where I want to be. Huh? Oh, well, um... Cat calling. No. Yes, come right in, sir. Thank you for choosing us yet again. Hmm. Oh. It's you. Where's the girl? You're gonna bring her, yeah? How soon can she start work? Tonight, as long as there aren't any problems. Girl's got potential, but we'll see whether or not she's got what it takes to shine. <laughs> Holy shit. This is Sari Shirosaki-san. Ah, uh, uh, you have the job. <laughs> You're like a freaking angel. Come work for us, please. I'm Shirosaki. Nice to meet you. I think she's still kind of nervous, but she'll warm up soon enough. No, she's perfect. I'm loving that I don't care vibe. Huh? I've never really entertained anyone before, but... Not a problem. Not a problem at all. It looks like that. Who needs experience? <laughs> Let's get you situated. Right this way, beautiful. This is the first and last time, Yagami-san. I know. We just have to figure out what Hashiki and Shona were talking about. The hostess they were with should know. Okay, I'll track her down somehow. I'll call you once I do. Sorry, son, was it? Follow me. It doesn't fit her personality, though. Now, you said you don't have much experience. But honestly, you seem okay to me. Your responses have been spot on. Do you mean that? See, that humility is key. <laughs> Young girls like you are way too casual nowadays. I'm not even that young. We're on the high end of Kamurocho clubs, you see. Naturally, our customers are of a higher status as well. Executives from massive corporations will come here to entertain guests, or celebrities will come to throw parties. Given their social standing, it's important to be as polite as possible. Understand? Yes. Other than that, is there anything in particular I should be aware of? Number one is try to stay engaged, no matter what. Act <laughs> like you're having fun, and toss out tons of compliments. So I should kill them with kindness. And once they drain their glass, get them to order another. Ask for one for yourself, too. You're saying I need to beg? Oh, yeah. These guys will do anything you want if you just ask nice and rub up on them. I'm not doing that. Either way, you're not going to be the only girl at the table. Just do it like the other hostesses do. Well, that's how everyone learns coming in. I'll see what I can do. I'm not even really here to score brownie points as a hostess. This is still an investigation. I have to find a girl who was with Hashiki without blowing my cover. May not be easy, but I can do this. If they need this info, then I'll get it. Okay, it's almost time for opening. You'll be starting on the floor, Sauri san Good luck. Looks like I'll be playing as her. Hi, I'm Sumi Rei. Hiya, I'm Mika. The name's Sori. Hiya, I'm sorry. Never mind. Oh, I wasn't expecting such enthusiasm. Oh well. Come, take a seat. Don't mind if I do. And so, as the young blood in the company, I was called on to make a sacrifice for the greater good. A sacrifice? They're working you to the bone. It's a shame how much some places impose on their workers. 
I suppose every industry has its share of problems. Hmm. This girl looks like she's gonna fall asleep. She stole the check out. Not that I blame her. I'm not especially interested in this sub story either. But you'll persevere in the end. I just know it. Oh, you can tell? Of course. I get the feeling you're super reliable, like you'll do whatever needs to be done. She's just making things up. <laughs> A feeling, huh? That just means you don't know for sure. No, 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 no. She can see how valuable I really am. Now she just has to convince my boss. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, I suppose anything goes so long as it's a compliment. Maybe I really can do this. Sorry to interrupt the fun. You've been requested by another customer, Sumire san. Ah, apologies. You'll have to excuse me. Well, that's how the professional world is. If you want to climb the ladder, you have to be persistent. Yes, precisely. Have you ever experienced something like that? Have I mentioned how much I love your tie? What? This old thing? <laughs> I bought it on a whim while I was in Italy for business. You have great fashion sense. Not many Japanese men could pull off that look. So true. I can't look away. Wow, I didn't realize you had such a good eye. <laughs> Maybe I'll check that brand out myself someday. <laughs> Just warning you, they're not cheap. Ooh, you have to think fast if you want to succeed as a hostess. Those businessmen finally went home. I was so focused on talking to them that I couldn't focus on the investigation. <sighs> I'm so sorry about that. You were covering for me that whole time. Don't worry about it. I'm used to paying attention to my surroundings. You really have what it takes, Saori san. Way more than me. I don't know. You seem to be far better adjusted. How long have you been working here? Hmm. Maybe six months? At least I'm better now than I was back then. I was the worst girl in the club, without a doubt. One time a customer even yelled at me. I remember it like it was yesterday, and I'm always so scared that it'll happen again. It's okay. We all have down days at work every so often. Uh, about that customer? Um, well, after he left the club that day, he... he died. What? You probably heard about it when it happened. He got drunk, got in a fight, and then died from his injuries. He was apparently pretty important, too. Involved in researching this new drug called AD9. Hashiki? Or Hoshino? What was his name? No, Hashiki, I think. You mean Hoshiki-san from the ADDC? Yeah, that's the guy! You knew him? The case was all over the news, yes. I read quite a lot about his death. Miss you too. I poured the drinks Hashiki-san got drunk off of, and it was my carelessness that made him upset. I can't help but feel responsible for him getting in the fight that killed him. So Mika-san was the one serving Hashiki-san. My sales numbers aren't so good either. I'm kind of worried that they're going to fire me. I know I should do more to boost my numbers, but I always think back to Hashiki-san. About that, Mika-san. Mika-san, Saori-san, you've got a customer. <laughs> Be right there. Sorry, that got kind of dark, huh? I need to hear more of what Mika-san has to say. It didn't sound like a very good experience for her though. I could upset her more if I pride too much. What should I do? Sorry, son. You good? Oh, sorry. I'm heading over now. I need to make her trust me somehow.
Hmm, his glass is empty. Let's give Mika a sign. Eyes up, Mika. Not a bad idea. <laughs> Let me see here. Ooh, it worked. Why don't you splurge on something fancy? I uh, wish I could, but the wallet's kind of light this month. Aw, really? This is my chance. Time to step in. Get close to him, more sweet talk. Let's think. This is gonna work, probably, right? Right? Hey, don't be like that. You're here to have fun, aren't you? Oh. She's right. Though I can think of something even more fun than this. Uh, uh, um. All right. Give me your finest booze! Yay! You're the best! Fresh bottle coming right up! It's all for the case, it's all for the case. <laughs> You're incredible, Celery Sun! I've never seen numbers that high before. Don't thank me. That was all you, Mikasan. Hey, let's go grab some drinks. My treat. Yeah. I'll pay you back for tonight. That's Japan for you. Actually, I know just the spot. Want to go there? I can't wait to learn more about you, Mikasan. Totally down. We just gotta hang in till our shift's over. Hello, Yagami-san. Hey, any luck? Yes, I made friends with the girl who served Hoshki six months ago. We're gonna bounce and go to tender in a few. Perfect. Wait, did you just say bounce? Forget that. Where are you? At my office. A lot happened after I dropped you off at the club. Care to elaborate? Well, maybe later. All right. This is the first and last time, Yagami-san. I know. We just have to figure out what Hushkin Shona were talking about. Oh, now I'm gonna play know. as me okay, I'll track while I'm. Somehow. I'll call you once I do. Well, she's inside. I can do other things. Yes. Hello? Oshinokun? Sari san made it in, thanks to you. Got a job at the Queen Rouge and everything. <laughs> Great. I knew her beauty was nothing to sneeze at. Thanks for taking her around, Yagami-san. By the way, what's the plan for tonight? We wait for Sari-san to call us. <sighs> Not much to do, but wait till then. I'm gonna go kill time around town. Be careful out there. Yeah, we will do. Alright. Hey, Amy. Got a new message. From Nanami Matsuoka. I want a drone. I appreciate you going to such strength lengths to rescue me. The police were saying it was incredible you had found me all all. You were so cool, Legami san. I'm just glad you're safe. Thanks, uh, if you hadn't come along, I don't even want to think about that. Are you taking any time off? Actually, thanks to you, I end up safe without a scratch. I hardly even need to. Okay, well, don't push yourself. Oh, I got this. Working helps me forget all the bad things, lol. Okay, where's the quest? I need to go to bartender? No. I need to wait for Sauri to get in touch, so what do I... What can I do in the meantime? A side quest over here, a ghostly request. Oh? 
Good boundary. Oh. Wait, someone's calling me. Hello? Hey Kaido san. Hello. How's the sorry san situation? Going well. The Queen Rouge hired her on the spot. Nice. That means you are free right now, yeah? Yeah? Well, guess what? I've got a job for you, Tak. A job? Yeah. And it's urgent. Get down to Public Park 3, man. What are you talking about? I'll explain when you get there. Just come on down. And he hung up. What are you playing at, Kaido? But if it's urgent... Well, if it's urgent, can I do my side quest? I can do my side quest. Alright. Okay, where's the entrance? Right over here. Help! Somebody bring a translator. Hmm? Translator? What's she talking about? Excuse me. Hey, is everything all right? No, it isn't. I don't understand a word this guy is saying. Please help the girl out. Pardon me, but do you happen to know where the lavatory is? Hmm. I've always been good at basic English. I should take over from here. Hey, all I want to know is where the restroom is. Oh, it's right outside a cafe. Um, in English that would be. It's right outside a cafe. You can't miss it. Excellent. Thank you very much. That went pretty well. I hope I wasn't too rusty. I'm sorry about that, sir. That other war really caught me off guard. I always thought it was just toilet English. Well, at least you know your basics. Sometimes it's hard to determine the best word to say. Yeah, I do like the language, but I haven't been studying for long. Gotcha. So you're a student right now? Yeah, I'm actually in college. I've been thinking of working overseas for a while too. Once I graduate, anyway. So I decided to start working here to get some more of the speaking practice. You know, since hotels generally have a lot of foreign customers. Not a bad idea. Well, keep it up and maybe your English will improve. Yes. Thank you for today's lesson. Oh, and can I ask your name? It's me. Sure. I'm Takayuki Yagami. And I'm Kaede Sanada. It was really nice to meet you. Hello, Amy Senpai. Likewise. Well, keep at it. <laughs> I will. Hope to see you next time. Alright, but that wasn't the quest I needed. This is the guy I need to talk to. Excuse me. Excuse me, are you Shimazu-san? I'm Yagami, a detective. Hi. Yes, my name is Mamoru Shimazu. I have been waiting for you, Yagami-san. It's a pleasure. There's no voices because it's side quest. So what can I do for you? You have a job for me, right? Yes, um... I needed to catch a ghost. This guy's crazy. Huh? Eh? You're going to have to elaborate on that. I'm moving to a new apartment next month. And I've heard it's haunted by a ghost. Hmm. You're basing this on a rumor. Hi. Yes, when I went to introduce myself to my new neighbors, they told me all about it. Apparently, you can hear the voice of a woman crying in the room. I'll be ranting. Mm -hmm. How does a woman crying make it supernatural? That's not all. A woman has been gliding through her, the hallway, dressed in all in white and jet black hair. The neighbor got scared, and that's when they discovered no such woman had lived there recently. Okay, I guess I'm getting a little creeped out. But the landlord is supposed to be notify you if there's been any incidents. And they didn't say anything of the sort. I see. My girlfriend and I are actually planning on moving in together into this apartment. 
We're in a long dance and distance the relationship, but then she quit her job and took a chance on moving here. We can pick it out together. It's a little pricey, but it was perfect otherwise. <laughs> this is her. Isn't she a beauty? Her name is Yukako. Uh, um, yeah, I guess you wouldn't want to build a relationship in a haunted apartment. Ah, huh? yes we do. Wait, what? <laughs> if we can prove there was some kind of tragic accident that happened there, we can negotiate the price down, right? Wait, you're okay with the ghost, as long as the price is right? What about your girlfriend, man? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. She's oblivious. She couldn't sense a ghost if it sneezed on her. Hmm. I see. Hmm. I'm not sure what's the problem. Anyway, how exactly do I fit into this? I want you to investigate if the apartment is haunted or not. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll do my best. I'm gonna charge 80,000 on this one. Ghosts are extra. No problem. I look forward to the results. I don't mind. Tell you what, let me call the landlord, arrange for you to stay in the night. Huh? Huh? Stay in the night? <laughs> of course, a ghost not going to appear if you are in the room that night, guy. Right. I guess I'll give it a try. Hey Tease, hey Tease, welcome back. Thanks for lurking. Thanks for waiting, Shimazu-san. Oh, this is Hasevaga-san, the learned warrior. GC, is it the highest rank? Like Grandmaster or something? Congratulations. You're a stubborn one, Shimazu-san. I told you a thousand times, there's no ghost here. That's why I've called in a professional to verify it. Mm -hmm. Oh great, you some kind of spirit medium? No. no, I'm Yagami, a detective. Nice, a detective. That's fine. <laughs> Can you clear up these ghost shenanigans once and for all then? Uh. You know what they say, every duck has a wolf's shadow. Just to be clear, there's never been any incidents in the room, such as accidental death. Nope, no way. This is property. It's totally renovated. And the lot was empty before it got built. I wouldn't even justify these outrageous claims with an investigation. <laughs> well, let me see what I can find out. I'll let you know when I'm done. You detectives always find yourself contracting the cooks? All the same, here's the keys. Good luck tonight. Thanks. I turned on the electricity and water for you too. I'm not particularly motivated here, but I guess I should sweep the room. Okay, but I don't want to do that right now. Spamming all these emotes? These, wow. Nothing here, pretty normal for a vacant apartment. And these, say hi to Amy. Yes, it's a TZ in the chat. Not much else to do, so I guess I'll check the room. Hmm. He cannot hear you. Ghost, huh? What was about dog's shadow and wolves? Hmm? Okay, gotta look for the room. Suspicious. Suspicious, what's suspicious here? The windows are shut and locked. Hmm. I guess that rules are that out. What the? Shattered lock. I don't think anyone could enter through these windows. Any other intrusion? Hmm. What the? Hmm? This window won't open. <laughs> I'll let Dylan explain. This window won't open. Nobody's getting in from here. Hey. What the? Hmm. The water's apparently on because it's wet here. Even got some buildup. That would mean it's getting some good use, I suppose. Suspicion. And the front door should have been locked before the lander opened it. 
Why would anyone trespass in here before people move in? A squad, maybe? Did I miss something? Could be something uh. that I not noticed. Ah, what's this? Ah. Hmm, what's this? Hmm. Rowan's earring? What is it doing here? An earring and signs of someone who was using the water. What's the link? Hmm, hmm kind of inconclusive. Pretty bored. Nothing to do but talk to myself and play the guessing game. Hmm, hmm what was that? Oh, it's a ghost. Uh huh. Uh, scary. What's that? No way there was a ghost, right? It had legs. <laughs> no time like the present to chase it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least it wasn't crawling in weird ways. Okay. Wait a sec. Well, she's clearly not. She's clearly not a ghost. Ouch! Ouch! Run! Wait a sec. She's a ghost. Okay. She is. <laughs> Quick time event. Wait a sec. Gotcha. All right. Ha ha ha! Who are you? I'm a detective. What were you doing in that room? Hey. This is your earring, right? Did you ever realize you dropped it? Suggest you start talking, or I could always call the police on you for trespassing. Ha ha ha! Ever heard a saying, dead men tell no tales? Fine, you don't want to talk. <laughs> I should probably bring Shima's <laughs> Because I'm not a role player. I should probably bring Shima's son <laughs> and the landlord into this. Hello. What's going on, Yagami-san? Apologies for calling so late, so I but I caught it, the ghost. Huh? So it really was haunted? Wait, you caught it? Yeah, but it won't talk. I'm sorry to ask, but can you come down here and call your landlord too? Okay, we'll be there as soon as possible. Yagami-san! Yagami -san? Is that the ghost? My my, since when did ghosts start walking perfectly corporal legs? Uh, huh? Is that you, Yukako? Hmm? Yukako, you know her. She's my girlfriend. The one who was supposed to be Akita. Huh? But her hair... You idiot. It's a wig. Soto. Well, she looked better with a wig, not gonna lie. Yukako, <laughs> what are you thinking? Hey. She looks 50. Yukako-san, I think it's time to cl come clean. Wouldn't you agree? It's because the room is too expensive. If we could prove it was haunted, we could get a lower price, right? Don't tell me that's why you did this. Afraid so. My darling Mamoru, I just wanted to help ease the burden of looking after me. So I came to the city a little earlier than we planned. Kind of lost for words. You did all that work just to... For this? Yukako, you... 
You did all of this for me? What a wonderful girl. My little melon pie. Huh? <laughs> that is creepy. <laughs> Mamoru, my dashing sweet. I'm not reading this. Okay, you two. I'd say get a room, but that's the crux of the problem, isn't it? How do you get the key anyway? So the landlord hide it under the gas meter in the hallways, so I got a duplicate mate. Oh, I guess that's usually where they put it before people move in. Shimasu san, you already had no part in this? You didn't. I didn't tell my love about the plan, but I never imagined he would hire a detective. You should have told me, baby. But. But I didn't want you to get wrapped up in this. My strawberry shortcake! <laughs> uh, okay. Hmm. Well, are you gonna pay me the 80,000 yen that you promised as a detective? That's why I didn't want to get you involved, my beloved. I guess it's really up to your landlord at this point. Asagawa-san, what is wrong with you two? Are you both insane? No, but we are insanely in love. The only thing that's insane here is the world. The market price for rent should never have gotten this high. Shimasu-san, I won't sue you, but all the same, no way I'm renting you that room, huh? But the contract, the hell with the contract. You tried to scam into thinking an accident happened, and then you hired a detective. All to catch your own girlfriend in the act of trying to get me lower price by parading you around as a ghost. <laughs> Huh, I get it. You are jealous of how madly in love we are, aren't you? <laughs> Shimasu-san, <laughs> maybe you should quit while you're ahead. Don't worry, Mamori. It'll be fine. They sure did it quick, 180 on that one. Those two are infuriating. I hope I never have to deal with them again. Mm -hmm. With you there. Yeah, well, I got my 80,000 yen. So I don't care what they do. And now I have to do go to the public park tree. I wonder if anyone wants to fight me in the meantime. I go there. Oh yeah, there's some people here. Ow. They're not dead. <laughs> uh, who's after me? Fine. Yes, I gotta beat them up. Who's this from? 
Okay, again this guy. I don't care about the threat 100%. Let's complete this. Come on, do it! Do the Captain Cop pose! <laughs> hey. Kaido san, what are you doing? You didn't say this was urgent. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, man it. Okay, who's the client? I am. I need you to do something over this little brat, Doc. Hmm? Huh. <sighs> He's following me around like a lost puppy. What did you do? <laughs> I can't believe I found Captain Cop, Mister! Captain, what? You don't know? Captain Cop! He's the police superhero who protects the city! You totally betrayed the evil organization! <laughs> I don't. I cannot make a squeaky sound. He totally betrayed an evil organization who commanded him to fight crime instead! No. Can do that. I can do that. You're losing me here. This Uncle Bitter was about to get kidnapped by some Yakuza, and I stopped it. But now I've got a fan. He's so strong. He punched those dudes light out. It was all like bam, crack. <laughs> the kid must think he's some kind of TV superhero. He didn't transform though, probably because he didn't have this Captain Cop! <laughs> What's that? You have to hold on to it and do this! Captain Cop! <laughs> Cop! <laughs> That's how you transfer into Captain Cop! <laughs> oh yeah, you should give it a shot, Kaido-san. Huh? Hell no! Hey, what's your name, kid? Yasuke Okayabishi! I'm five! Do you know where your dad and mom is? My dad usually stops working about now, so I came to pick him up. You came all the way to Kamarusha to pick him up? And what's... and that's where, where you met the bad man? Oh. Yeah, they asked where my dad was, but I didn't say anything. They even tried to get me. Then the Yakuza were after his father. Why would they go after a kid? Mm. Beats me, but we probably better hurry, or the kid's father could land up in the same situation. True. If Yakuza are involved, it's gonna be bad news. Yup. Go do your thing, Doc. Oh, this is what your job is? Fine, but I need some more info on this guy. <laughs> hey, Yusuke-san. Can you tell me what your dad looks like? His face, his hair, his weight? Sure. Uh, he's skinny. He wears nice clothes. His eyes are tiny. And his hair is short. <laughs> Alright, that should be enough to go on. Where do you find a kid, Kaido san? Don Sipon Street. Alright, I'll go check out the area. Come on, mister, you have to go Captain Capos. I know you're him. <sighs> Tack. Do me a favor, find this guy quickly. Eh, guess I better find this guy before Kaido san tears his hair out. God, what's happening? Please, no, please stop. Okay, more people to fight. Captain Cop! Really, guys? Oh god, the only way to get here is through this threat, but I don't have anything to go on. I need to heal up first. And then I need to buy some heals. Let's buy... what do I buy? Let's 
buy two of these. Actually, three. Alright. You have now four point total. If you gather ten points, we'll give you a nice Rio record. Remember to always do your shopping at Popo. This says hi, Dylan. This says hi. Okay, I need to beat this guy. There you are, Yagami. Today's the day I smear into the pavement once and for all. Get ready to eat some street, fuck face. Okay, let's beat him up. Two health bars. Yeah, that is unfair. I want to take this. Complete. Do the scooter bash, side bash. <laughs> Looks like Kato-san made so quite a scene. It would help me out if I could find any clues about the Yakuza trying to kidnap him. It might be able to find a clue lying around here somewhere. Where's the cat? Where's the cat? Cat. Wait. What? Oh, here. Suspicious. Hmm. Hmm. There's something under that crate. Okay. Found something. Where's the cat? There's a cat meowing, but where is it? Where is it? Oh, I found you! Oh look, a cat! We have a sledgehammer. That's good for fighting people. Okay. Wait, what's this? Hmm? Hmm. Are these steel knuckles? These won't tell me who owned them though. There must be more to find them then. Okay, what else is there? Oh. Suspicious. Silver bat. The Yakuza must have wielding this when they tried to kidnap Yasuke. There's nothing out of the honorary about it. So it doesn't tell me much. Okay, I need some better info though. It actually tells me who owns. Hmm. There must be some kind of info somewhere, but where? Maybe if I check the camera? Was there a camera? Hmm. Oh, there's a camera. Can't? Okay, never mind, cannot check the camera then. Nothing there. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. What? I'm lost. Hmm. What could I be still missing?
on the walls. about never mind then uh -huh. help me I need help hmm. I'm the worst detective ever Google this for me, thank you. What am I supposed to search for? Investigate Kaito's ruckus is the mission. There's nothing here. Hmm. What's two banners? You see any banners? Here? Yeah. Suspicious. Dagger besides uh -huh. oh. Yes. oh, a knife! The guy trying to kidnap Yasuki must have gotten pretty serious. But pulling a knife on Kaido seems to have a bad idea. Mm. Not much of a chance getting fingerprints off of it, so I guess it doesn't help me much. Isn't it this one? No. like the hardest investigation so far never took me this long See any mob though? Isn't there like a video you could watch, maybe, Amy? Uh -huh. Thank you. So confused here. Could be anywhere.
Not here. Uh -huh. All right. Um, let's go over again all these parts. I have no idea where this is. Uh -huh. If this is... Yes. Yes. I got the bat, I got the knife, I got the knuckles, and I got the cat. It seems like I'm still missing something. What do I do here? Uh-huh. 
clearly I don't have everything. Dishes used and then out. Oh, yeah, okay. Stupid. It did. It didn't actually work for the first time and now it did. Weird. Kaito? Hey, Tak. I know you're busy, but would you mind picking up a bento from convenience store or something? I think if I feed the kid, I'll shut him up. Huh? Uh, can you handle that on your own? You want me to cruise around town with this kid? Come on, man. I've got an image to uphold. What? You're afraid people will think you kidnapped him? Or worse, that he's yours? You know how it is. Come strong for me, Kayak. A bot? Especially the Gatekus dies. At least delivering the band who gives me an excuse to ask him. I already bought a bento before. Out of the way. Okay. That's toxic. Yes, it's toxic. Very toxic. Once you know how to do it. <laughs> yes. Hey. Hi, Rosan. Oh, Turk, what's up? Nah. What do you mean, what's up? Didn't you ask me to get you a bento? Oh, yeah, I did. Man, give it to me. Thanks, man. I'll feed the kid. By the way, Kairosan, have you ever heard of Yakumaru Loans? I found this ad in some pocket dishes near where the attack happened. Mm. Yakumaru Loans? Can't say it rings any bells. Nothing, huh? I told him I'd give you Biniakus related. <laughs> well, I'm just a civilian. Haha, <laughs> shady civilian. But if you don't know anything, I'm a dead end. Did you say Yakumaru Loans, mister? I know that name. Huh? What? Really? My man says they're bad Yakuza men, so don't go anywhere near him. Well, at least I was right about the Yakuza ties. But not so good. If the Yakuza are hunting down the kid's dad, they probably already got him. Yeah, but the problem is figuring out where they are based. Chuck. Well, I'll leave that part to you, Tak. I'll keep an eye on Yusuke. <laughs> yeah, looks like you're a better babysitter than I am. Yeah, yeah mister. Let's play more catch! Yeah. Sure, let's do it. He can complain all he wants. I think he's enjoying this. Yeah, I gotta find where they are. But if you already have used said father, I better get a move on. If you come alone, are just a bunch of sharks, I should head into similar waters. There was a big money lending company on Tenkai Street. So, hmm, who's this from? Okay. Oh, who's this? Don't you get star with me. How about showing us some respect, huh? Respect? For swindling me out of my money. I'll respect you when you pay back what you <laughs> Wouldn't that be more fair? Shh. 
You think the kids can just gonna bend over backwards and pay you out of the ass, huh? Again with these Kagan gang lunatics. They just cause tr problems wherever they go, don't they? Let's step in. I can't just let this go. Time for me to step in. Hey! Oh, you are? What are you doing here? You not only refuse to pay your debt, but you even assault your lender. Didn't you know your punks could st stoop so low? Oh, you feel sorry for the guy. Then why don't I just punish you in his place? You asked for it. Okay. I'll take this. It's fine, trust me. Are you all right? <laughs> Thanks to you, <laughs> yeah. I take it you're with those punks! <coughs> you could say that. For one reason or another, they seem to have a grudge against me. Damn. <coughs> well, that doesn't sound very pleasant. <laughs> See, I knew you would pay up. I'll be taking back my money now. <sighs> Hope you choke on it, you bastard! <laughs> Now that said, looks like we haven't introduced ourselves, have we? I guess not. I'm Takeuki Yagami, and I work as a detective here in Kamarucho. A detective, you say? Interesting. I'm Kazumufi Kamaguchi, and I run a third of financing on the third floor of this building. In other words, I'm a debt collector. Ooh, is he gonna collect debts for me? No, maybe. And you were trying to collect from the Cahan Grunk of all people? Oh. Yeah, should have known. They've never planned on begging me back. This isn't the first time they've attacked me either. What is it, Amy? <gasps> oh. Low-life bastards, and they think they can do it. <laughs> it's a life room for a reason, you know? Low-life bastards, they think they can do whatever the hell they want. Unforgivable. When it comes... When it comes to being a nuisance, they're right up there with the Yakuza. I should let you know though. Those goons weren't the only ones I lent money to. I actually ended up financing a couple of their leaders too. Leaders such as... Kenta Kasai and Renji Honda. They owe me 100... 800,000 yen each. Wait, you lent money to them? Man, you really need to be more careful who you trust. Yeah... No kidding, say... Yagami-san. You're good at tracking people down, yes? Being that you're detective and all. Yep. Well, that is one part of the job. And from what I've seen, you can handle yourself in a scuffle to boot. Could you track down these two imbeciles for me and get my money back? Huh? You really want me to do it? Yeah, I'll pay you for it, of course. Hmm, hmm. I'm always running into them. One way or another. Alright, I think I can accept your case. Great, you'll be doing me quite a favor. This is Kahan Gang you were talking about. Even when I ignore them, they build into my life. Guess I'll just have to drag them over to Kamagachi san whenever I see their ugly mucks. Oh. Would you look at the time? I'd better get back to the office. See ya! Yay!
Oh crap! Should have asked him about the Akamar loans. Turtle financing, right? Maybe I can catch up to him. Anyways, I'm gonna save the game right here. I'm gonna save the game right here and I'll I'll end the stream. Bye.